Hey guys, Nero from UK Mobile Review. We're here with the Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition. We want to give you a quick look at the Twitter app for tablets. Now, if you remember back to EFA 2013 and the launch of the Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition, just FYI, we're going to call it the Note 10.1 going forward. It's just we're going to be saying quite a lot, and it's a bit a bit of a mouthful. If you remember back to the launch of the Note 10.1 and E for September last year in Berlin, when announcing this tablet, ta Samsung announced that Twitter had developed their own tablet optimized Twitter app. Something people have been asking for for absolutely ages. Well, here it is. So you've got your standard icons on the left here, your timeline, your interactions, your discover mode to allow you to discover other activity, etc and information example so this is my profile information it gives me access to my follower accounts different account options there number of tweets 37,600 that's a lot and messages we're not going to go into that because that's quite private altogether looks a bit like any other android twitter app but this is where it gets really interesting you can see it's all split into two columns and the columns is really handy because it just allows multitasking so if I go into here and go into a tweet, in this case, it brings up there. So without having to leave my timeline there independently, I can still reply to a tweet. So in this case, I'm going to retweet it. It brings up, brings up all my options. I can still search. So I can tap on there. And it basically allows me to, if I'm trying to refer to conversations, I can go back a little second, go in there. And I go, oh, I missed that one there, but I will I miss, say I missed that tweet there. So I can still look at it in my notification menu. So I can still look at it within the, my, note, my interactions column without leaving this particular chain and conversation. The other interesting part of this app is when you go to compose a new tweet. On the left, we've got the compose box. You can see here we're using a lovely customized half screen Swift key, we're going to switch that to full now. On the right, you've got different options. So in this case, I can draw something. And that puts in there. I can add my location, camera, my photos, but you've also got photos you might have taken here. So in this case, there's that one we took from an, another video, from another video, which is the S Pen Features video. Add a filter and boom. The use of this two column UI means there's less you have to do. There's less tapping and less going backwards and forwards and more productivity in being social. This was a quick look at the Twitter for Android tablets to optimize user interface. Please like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the rest of our videos and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.